In our previous episode, we finally made it to the medieval city of Siena. And today, we're trying a few famous Sienese goodies at what is possibly the best cafe in Siena. Oh wow, we are off to a strong start here. Pasticceria Nanini con Cadoro. Their, their selection here is just wild. We're Matteo and Misha, and we're currently on the world's slowest Italian road trip, traveling to all 20 regions of Italy. Subscribe to follow the adventure. We're here! I love the Christmas display that they put up. They even have a little fireplace. And those are the cookies we're getting. Here we go. American breakfast. Hello. Oh, it's so cute in here. Oh, oh what are those? This is so cool. It keeps going. There's a whole shop back here and everything too. If you want to buy the sweets to take them home. So you can buy this as a duo and you dip the cantuccini in the Vinsanto. It's delicious. Wait. Oh. Do you want to get the combo? So you can get a little tester, like a little sampling plate for seven euro. That's quite clever. Wait, I gotta figure out what's that way. What is this? This looks incredible. Mm -hmm. I have never seen this before. There's this pistachio thing right there. Ricerella al cioccolato, alla mandorla, bombolone pana, peperini serrelli, 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 panforte, zarez, yeah, we're done, we show. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, these all look so incredible. This is so aggressive, but I don't care. Thank you. Gone too far. Why? To look how much stuff there is. I here. know. I love it. I'm so excited. Oh my God! You know what happened when I ordered the cappuccino after eleven? Absolutely nothing. Because <laughs> they don't care. This is what a little bit of water gets. <laughs> Shot of water. Smaller, smaller we promise this isn't sambuca. Sugar, sugar. Little ginseng lava. Is this excessive? Maybe. Do you care? I do love a ginseng coffee. That, that is the most like, uh, what is it like? Aromatic. Aromatic, thank you. I was like, ginseng has a nice smell, but they, I think they've added something to this. Maybe cinnamon? Wow, that smells good. What did they do to this? That is so good. They definitely added a spice. What is that? I love ginseng, and this is hands down the best ginseng I've ever had. And I do not say that lightly. Oh wow, we are off to a strong start here. So the ricciarelli, this is the uh, almond, this is like the classic. And then they also make a chocolate one, so we wanted to try that one as well. And these are classic Sienese cookie. We'll start slowly, ease our way into this. I'll start with the uh, appetizer, if you will, of this breakfast. I really hope this doesn't pan out like... The last cookie we ate, the what was it? Cavalier, Caval Cavalucci. Cavalucci. That Lucci. we ate. Caval Cavalucci that we <laughs> ate. I thought it was powdered sugar, and I was very excited when I bit into it, only to discover that it was flour, and it just dried my mouth out completely. This is the worst. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this is actually powdered sugar. That is divine. Thankfully, powdered sugar. I'm very happy about that. But it's very similar to a macaroon. The outside is like really light and crispy, but the inside is still super moist. So that's like, that's a delightful, delightful texture of a cookie. Absolutely love it. Almondy, macaroni. Wow. And it's sweet. I love sweet cookies. This one's definitely one of the sweeter breakfast treats that we've had, but I'm not mad about that. You guys know me. I have a big sweet tooth. Next up, I feel like I have sugar all over my face. Okay. We're going to try the uh, chocolate one now. Mmm. Mmm. The inside. Oh, so again, it's like the crispiness on the outside and the softness on the inside, but the inside is the kind of like doughiness when you kind of like lick the fudge batter, the brownie batter before you bake it. It's not like totally raw, but that's kind of the same consistency, which I love. That 
That was so good. I thought I'd be able to like pick a favorite, but that's like a tie. They're both good in their own way. I really love almonds and I also really love chocolate. So, ooh, definitely try both of them. Almond. Mm hmm I honestly love it so much. Like, I can't. It's like a Sicilian cookie as well. Similar, but different. I love all these almond baked goods. So this is, this is, I'd give this a, a 10 out of 10. Wow, a that is a strong statement. It's a texture, it's a flavor, it's a crunchy outside, it's a soft inside. But this one seemed better to Michelle's face, so. Oh, oh. How do we reverse? Mm. I prefer the almond ones and the chocolate ones. Really? One. And you, we're always the other way around. You like the plain ones and I like the chocolate ones. To be fair, I felt like I was pretty 50-50 split. I mean, maybe the chocolate, yeah, won by a little bit for me. The almond one reminds me way too much of Sicily. So maybe that's why it's closer to home. I've been, since my first trip to Sicily in 2002 with my family, that reminds me way too much of Sicily. <laughs> maybe that's why I'm so much more favorable towards it. But they both are delicious. But you still like the chocolate one? Mm -hmm. It does taste like a fudge brownie top bar. Mm. We know better than to eat all of it. At I the know, door. I'm like, we have yeah. to pace ourselves. We're gonna cleanse that palate, pinky up, pinky up. <laughs> Next up. Um, first up, we have the. Oh, I think this is the chocolate one. Oh, these are big. Not as much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. So here we've got, I'm assuming, the original, and this is the one with chocolate included. So I believe they call this the Pan Forte Nero because of the chocolate and its dark color, and then this is the classic. I think we're gonna need more water. <clears throat> this feels a lot like when I picked it up to put it in the plate, it's very uh, almost gummy-like, you could say. See, when you break it, hopefully this is powder sugar and not flour. Okay. Full disclosure, I knew I was gonna struggle with this one because I'm not a huge fan of like candied fruit and cakes that are spiced. Happy to report that's powdered sugar, not flour. Flavor is bursting. It's just not my favorite flavor, but it's definitely packed. The nuts are crunchy. You can definitely taste the spice, the candied fruit. It is, it's got a very like nice consistency to it. Easy to chew. If you like this kind of stuff, I think you'd love it, but for me, not my favorite flavors, but still really good. Next up, I'm gonna try the chocolate one. I have hopefully higher hopes for this one. This one, instead of powdered sugar, it's, it seems to be dusted with chocolate. Let's go. I like that one better. I definitely like the chocolate one more. You still have the spices and the nuts and the candied, uh, candies, sugar things that are, that are in it, but the chocolate seems to kind of uh, level it out better, in my opinion. It's not as strong. You can still get the burst of flavors and the aromas, but yeah, the chocolate kind of puts you more on an even level there. Let's see what Mateo thinks. Normal first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's aromatic. I like it though. A lot. It just tastes like Christmas. That's good though. I do like that. Chocolate. I love them. If you've been following our journey, you know that I have sinus problems. So a lot of things are hard for me to fully taste. Maybe that's why I enjoy a lot of the more aromatic stuff than Misha does. Because I get to taste more than I normally do. My taste buds and that are usually a lot less. So just having the more extra spices and extra aroma, everything just kicks in a lot better so I think that's why I love it so much because it just oh it gets a lot of flavors all in one and I kind of just love that concoction of all of them these are some of the more unique things we found here in Tuscany I don't know which one I prefer though one's more Christmassy and the other one's more Christmassy that's a lot stronger I love them though lord do I love them mm, you could not eat a whole slice of this thing it's too strong maybe it's time you tried the donut the bombolone. The bombolone with the fresh cream. I am excited about this. If you saw our Rome video, you would know that we had a maritozzo. They also have that, yeah. Which is actually right here. A maritozzo, so you can get it here as well. But we went for the bombolone just to try something different. I need water. So many flavors. You still have to get to this chocolate I know, thing. we're getting there. Don't worry. I know I'm like in my 30s now, but I'm actually still five when it comes to dessert. Sweetness. 
It smells like a donut. Oh my god. This was a bad idea. I know there's cream like literally. Hang on, I need a napkin. Look away. Yeah, I'm not even gonna disrespect it and call it a donut. I won't do that. This is more than that. This is like a giant cream puff, but also with the fluffiness and friedness of a donut-ish with fresh cream. This cream I could bathe in. I feel like I'm not eating this very ladylike. I probably shouldn't have picked it up, but oh wow. That cream is amazing. I literally read somewhere that you have to try a cream pastry here. Like no matter what it is, they said get something with fresh cream. I mean, come on. This is one of the best breakfast things I've had in Italy so far. Wow. Mm. wow. <laughs> this is so botched. <laughs> I'll try the cream first. It tastes like fresh cream, some good fresh cream. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Are, are you ready? Mm. Mm. Seriously, my sinus is coming into play because you're tasting the things that are less ingredienced and I'm not tasting them as strongly as you are. It does, it just tastes to me like cream mm -hmm. and like I can't believe, I'm just gonna completely ignore that you said putting that. putting it down to my sinus. I can't, I'm actually sad for you. I know. I'm, I'm sad, sad that you're not tasting what I'm tasting. This cream and, and oh. donut, it's too plain for me. <gasps> How upsetting. Now I'm drinking Mateo's water, don't tell him. Oh, hey. World's slowest eaters, like we have some nothing else to do in our day. We don't, I'm literally eating all day today. I feel like, what are you, what's happening back here behind the scene? Okay. <laughs> we have one uh, extra treat to try. This was not part of the plan today, but I saw it and I couldn't help myself. This is like a golden tart. I think this is chocolate mousse in there. And what I'm assuming is like a, maybe like chocolate, like crispy thingy. I don't know. I am not a baker, but it looks really good. I actually don't know how to bite into this thing. Um, again, I apologize. This is why I hate eating in public. Okay, I only got the tart, but there's mousse in there. Mmm. You can use this like a scooper and scoop the mousse. I have powdered sugar all over me. That's fine. This is like a more like a dark chocolate mousse, so it's not like overly sweet. It's got more of like a like the kind of duller dark chocolatey thing, but still really good. I'm actually surprised. That's actually a pretty even sweetness. I thought it was gonna be much sweeter than that, but they didn't overdo it. I really like that. I just I'm still confused as to how to eat it. It's like got a little it's like a little house. Look at that. You caught it. Good job. You caught it. I would, uh, I feel like this is the best way to do it, just to use it as a spoon. Nope, never mind, that's not working. That's amazing. All right, before, before we get kicked out. I have serious issues. I barely taste the chocolate. I just have a texture of a bit of chocolate, a bit of tart. That makes me honestly so sad because this used to be like my forte and now I can't actually taste it too much. I'm really sad for you. It's just chocolate and tart to me. Oh no. Okay, those are your things. I'm gonna have to stick with the aromatic stuff. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not mad about how we've ended up splitting this, but I'm sorry for you that you can't taste that properly. These are, these are, I'm, I'm sold. I'm happy for you. You enjoy that. Oh, so much goodness. So little belly space. In our next episode, we're on the hunt for the most unique paninos in Siena. And boy, do we find them. Tucked away in a quiet corner of the city, it's definitely taste bud heaven. Subscribe to follow the adventure.